Welcome everyone. So today we're going to integrate go for clients with type forms and specifically to launch an email auto response to reach out to our leads and also to trigger an uh, internal email notification to our marketing team, to our sales guys, to whomever is in charge of knowing that a lead has come in and, and reach out to them. These are two very important things to do. And so let's jump right into this. We're going to log in to our go for an account. Once you're in, the dashboard is gonna show you different options for the automation. We wanna to go to the form automation. Once there, you have a variety of templates to choose from. That's what's so cool about go for clients uh, As I said, we're going to do the email notification, the internal email notification, and we're gonna auto-respond to our leads uh, via email as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on use. Once again, we start with that setup, uh, very easy. Webhooks, it's by default turned on. That's the integration that we're going to um, um, uh, do. And we are going to just choose the sender email where the emails are gonna be sent from. I'm going to use my work email and we're gonna build that drip. Here's what go for clients provides. Uh, it's already done for us. We just need to configure it. And we just click on start here. So the webhook is the first thing we're gonna configure. Go for clients is providing that uh, webhook link and I just need to copy it by clicking here on the icon. And now we're gonna to go to type form. Here's my type form form that I've created. I'm sure you have your, your uh, a variety of forms. So make sure that you are on create and while you're in the create area uh, or tab, make sure you go to connect. In Connect, you're going to find two tabs. One is for the integrations. There's a variety of integrations, but this is how easy it is to integrate to go for clients, which will provide you with SMS, emails, calls. We just use the webhook. So right here it is, um, and, and you just need to add a webhook, or if you already have one, let's edit it. I have one already, so I'm going to just edit it. Um, this behaves a little bit funny, so I'm just going to stand here, delete the whole URL that we had before and I am going to just include the new one that we got from go for clients Make sure SSL is on and just save those changes. Once they're saved, well, we're going to go and share the form. I'm gonna copy that link. I'm just gonna open a new tab to go to that form, and there it is. That's the form already with the webhook. So back to go for clients. I want to continue with the integration. It says next step. I will follow that. And it says, show me that we're, that, um, we're connected to that form. And so all it needs to do is receive the data. It says waiting for that data. The way to check it is the form that I just published. I'm going to fill it out. I have some information already here. And I, I'm going to submit that. Once I submit it, I go back to go for clients and you see that immediately that data that go for clients was expecting, it's here. It's already here. We have the data. So this is just, it just turned into a green check mark indicating that the integration was successful. The next step is actually mapping the fields. Mapping the fields means, you know, taking the information from the fields uh, from the form. Let me refresh that form. So each field, we need to map it so that go for clients can pick up the information. And the way to do that, uh, this is a great example. Name is not turned on. So it's asking, where are you going to bring the name from? And so I want to say, well, in the form, I have to find that name. Now, where is it? The type forms uh, are not very clear on, on the name of the field. It's not very easy to find out which one it is. I under, it's the first field for sure, but um, this is a good trick. We can check it. You can, you know, trial and error, just start picking to see if you capture it. But what I like to do is I like to click on this icon of see data, uh, data. And I see that Juan, that the name is coming from a field that is called object one dot text. So that kind of gives me a better idea. So I'm going to say names, the names I'm going to pick from the name field, which is here it is, the uh, one text. And here it is, it's one. The email, it's already picking up from the correct field. The mobile number is already being picked up from the correct field. And if I had any other messages that I wanted to, which I do, I think I asked for a company name, I could also pick it up. So I imagine that it's going to be the uh, four uh, type. Uh, nope, so let's once again 
check the information here. I left that field open, I think. I didn't send anything, um, so I'm not really going to know which one it was, but you get the idea. It's going to be easy to identify it if you fill it out. So fantastic, once that's done, I'm not going to use this message. So once that's done, when the information is already mapped, it says go to actions. Uh, this just wants you to program how soon the notification uh, email and that auto response email are going to be triggered. I like to do it as soon as possible just because I know that there are stats that say that if you, you know, it takes you one day uh, to reach out to your leads, that reduces the probability of that lead becoming a customer by 60 times. And even if you just take an hour, it still reduces that probability by seven times. So I'm one of those guys that thinks that immediacy is really important and not just me, but um, our whole company and go for clients. That's what we are hoping to accomplish here with you guys, helping you accomplish is an immediate interaction and immediate engagement with leads, with customers, etc., so that they feel supported, they feel that um, they are the most important part of what you're doing of that process, and uh, well, it turns into conversions and more importantly, sales. So we're gonna do it as soon as possible, but you can program it to do it in seconds, minutes, hours, or days, whatever you need. I'm gonna leave it as is, and then following the steps, then it goes to the actual email. This is the email. We have templates for the email. Uh, you could, you're welcome to use it. anything here. You can change um, the subject. Uh, you can see here that we're using welcome and we're gonna use the name that we pick up from the form to make this um, email auto response very personalized, right? We're gonna use the, the name of the lead that filled it out. Thank you for completing the form. I could actually change the design just by clicking on change design and choosing another template or if you already pre-built another one, select that. I'm happy with what I've chosen. I just wanted to show you that we have a great selection here. So I'm just gonna click back and I'm gonna leave it as is. I don't need anything else here. Um, next, we are going to configure uh, the notification. Uh, it says destination, where are we going to send that email internally? I have my work uh, email, but let's change that. Let's say that my sales team is at this email. So I'm going to use another email and all right, there it is. I'm, uh, so that's where my marketing team or my sales guys are and I want them to receive this notification. Again, I could change the design, but I'm not going to. It's the same as the email. I could choose from a variety of templates. I like what, what I have. And so I'm ready guys. I've set up my whole automatic notification and triggering an auto response via email. I'm gonna save this drip. Let's call it the webhook type form uh, test. All right, and save. Beautiful, that's how easy it was. So let's go ahead and test it. As you can see, once it's saved, it is in blue, meaning that it's active, it's ready to run. And let's go ahead and test it. So all I have to do is I'm gonna come back to this form and let's play the role of a lead. I'm a, re I'm a lead, um, I am John, and I am John Smith. I'm gonna use the same thing that these guys have here. Um, I, I can put my phone number, no problem. And I'm gonna use uh, this email. I'm gonna use my same personal email because I wanna show you that I receive everything. So what we're hoping to do here, um, I could fill out the company, uh, go for clients, although we didn't map this field. But anyway, guys, so I'm ready. Once I click submit, two things are gonna happen. You know, the go for clients drip is gonna take over. And so I should receive um, information uh, of that lead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my phone screen with you guys. And I can see that I just received emails. I'm going to my personal email and there it is. So the first thing, is as a lead, I receive an email. It says, welcome John. Remember I put my name was John and here they are, you know, say, hey, welcome John. I could use, you know, the logo of the company, whatever, but immediately I am being contacted by um, this company that is interested in me. Amazing. I, when I fill the form, they're reaching out and then playing the role of, of marketing or the sales guy, I also received that internal notification. Hey, you have a new lead, it's John. 
So it, it provides me all the information. John, this is his email, this is his phone number, um, you know, whatever other fields I have. And so now I know as a marketing team or as a sales team that I need to reach out to John because he's interested in whatever I'm selling. And that's going to help bring those sales in immediately. So guys, that's how easy it is to use GoForClients. I hope to see you in the next video soon. Thanks so much for watching.